Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I'll teach you how to add awesome fonts like this through Font Awesome into your Angular application. So I've added here LinkedIn, YouTube, GitHub, and Hacker Rank icon font icon. So basically on YouTube, you can find videos like how to add normal icons, but it's really hard to add brand icons. But in this video, I've explained in really easy steps how you can add all these brand icons like LinkedIn, YouTube, and GitHub using Font Awesome. So what we'll use is npm. We'll use npm, this command is ng add, I'll copy this from here, ng add Font Awesome from Angular Font Awesome, that's it. You just need to add this command and there are more steps which I'll show you. And you can also get like these cool awesome icons into your Angular application. So I'll go into my VS Code and what I'll do, I've already, using here so i'll delete this font or some i the from the node module i'll delete this file to show you how to do it step by step so you'll see that this shows error yeah because i've deleted that and now what i'll do is i'll uh, go i'll just create a new terminal and inside this i'll put that command so ng add this command and you press enter after this what you have to do is Let's see, just wait for the, yeah. And then just press Y and uh, it will start installing the package. It will ask you which version you want to install. So we want to go with the latest font awesome version, which is six. So press enter again. And this is the important step. So you don't press enter here. You wait, you press the key down button and press space. So through this, you will select free regular icons Again, press key down and press space. So we have selected free solid, free regular and free brand icons. This is the thing through which you'll be able to add brand icons. These are the three library. That's all we want to add. These three, one, two, three and press enter. So see, we are adding font awesome six, free solid icons, free regular icons and free brand icons. So now I want to add these icons here and you see packages installed successfully. So we have got the packages. Now what we'll do, so I will go into my home component.ts. This is the component where I will download the icons. So you can see what you can do here is, I'll just show you. So let's say you want to use LinkedIn icon. So you say import FA, you have to put FA and then whatever you want with capital, like camel case, right? So FA LinkedIn and then from you want to use free brand SVG icon. So that's it. So in this scenario, when I wanted to use download, which is not a brand icon. So I wrote free solid SVG icons. If you want branded, then you use these ones. If you want just normal, then use these ones. And let's say you want the LinkedIn one, right? So you need to copy this here. And now you need to pass this LinkedIn from your TS file, right? From your home component TS file to your HTML file. So the only way to do is you can only pass through classes, right? So you can name an element like uh, my, my LinkedIn icon, right? And you need to name it as this LinkedIn, like you need to pass this LinkedIn through this class property of my LinkedIn icon. And this is just a property through where you are storing this, where this value, the icon, right? Inside this and now, now you are able to use this icon, which is my LinkedIn icon inside your HTML file where you will show using a div. So let's say I'll show you here. I'll put a div and how you can show icon is you need to use FA icon like this. And what you want to show, you want to use icon, right? So you will use the icon property. You will write a string, empty string. And inside that you will write the variable in which you copied it right this one my linkedin icon that's all after this you will be able to see your linkedin icon here so you can see here this is the one which we put the new one here linkedin and uh, that's how i have done if you want next time let's say if you want github so you will do the same thing for github which you can see i've done here so you write icon equals to fa github so if you want youtube you write fa youtube and if you want to put, let's say, a URL, uh, you want to click here and you want to go to your LinkedIn, like see, I've been here. Or if you want to click here and you want to go to your YouTube, 
like this so you can just use anchor tag on top of it if you don't know how to do this see i've done it here you can see for github so you just take an anchor tag put href inside it and you put your fa icon between the anchor tags that's pretty much it that's one of the easiest way to add font or some icons branded icons to your profile and make your angular application look good and cool so if you like my way of teaching if you have more doubts then comment in my video section and then yeah like my channel subscribe to my channel and thank you